Hello and welcome to episode three of The Cauldron of this season. And as always, we're here at the Steel Town Coffee in Port Talbot. And as you can see, joining me as my special guest for this episode is Chairman of Abraham RFC, Andrew John. Welcome. Thank you. Great to have you here on the podcast on this episode. Thank you very much. Lovely to be here. Christmas is fast approaching, right? What we're here to talk about, of course, the Christmas lights in Port Albert that Abraham has supported for around nine years. It's not all about the rugby because you do so much within the community as well. And this is what the cauldron's all about, is highlighting all the great stuff going on, I guess, outside of on the field. Let's start with some of the initiatives that the team supports. Charities that you support like Lamai, uh, Bullies Out, um, the Food Banks and NPT Mine, just to name a few. Can you tell me a bit about the involvement of the club in those charities? Well, the, the clubs, are, uh, clubs are a, a major part of the town, obviously. Um, you know, so we li- we like to support um, charities that are local to us and things that we can make a difference for, uh, or two. Um, especially the food bank of the day uh, that was a that was a huge success, to be honest. Um, and of course, Christmas lights, which is um, something we've done now for for nine years. So, yeah. Yeah. So, it's yeah. great to see the club so involved in the community. And I, I guess as a club and personally for you, why is it so important to, to continue to support all these different organisations in the town? Uh, it's Well, it's because we're part of the fabric of the town. It's very important, I think, in all honesty. Um, you know, we, we, you know we, we're you smack in the middle of the, of the town and uh, I, I really think it's it's part of our duty as a, as a, as a club to, to help where we can. And we've briefly mentioned though, the Christmas lights there. We've supported it for over nine years now. And it, Christmas is fast approaching. We've seen the lights up around the town already. Can you tell me a bit about why the club, I guess, started supporting these Christmas lights? What's the story behind that? Um, it goes back, uh, as, as we said just now, nine years. And um, it basically started because um, due to uh, local authority cutbacks, which are well documented, uh, unfortunately, Neath Potawa Council decided they couldn't um, they they couldn't uh, uh, they couldn't arrange and um, put up the the light the, the lights and the trees. So um, we took it upon ourselves to to basically take it on board. Um, we've done it every year now for the last nine years. Uh, <laughs> it seems a bit longer than that actually, but no, it's the whole thing. So it's um it's uh, the installation, taking it down, buying the lights because they they. They, they they don't last forever, and of course, uh, buying the tr- buying the, tr- the the one tree every year and a walk through tree in the in by the by the station, which um, has now been with us about five years. So uh, yeah, it's um it it, it just um it uh, I wouldn't say it's easy. Um, we're lucky we do get quite a bit of co- cooperation from the council. Uh, and from the councillors, the local ward councillors as well, which we're grateful for. And, but of course, the, the most important thing is the support we get from local business. Because to be honest, without that, we just couldn't do it. Because financially, it, it, is, quite, uh, it is quite expensive uh, every year. Things like insurance, uh, it's got to be properly installed electrically. Um, and we have to purchase new equipment as well, because lights don't last forever. Mm. Yeah, that's true. And I guess it's a collective effort, isn't it, over the whole town? It's about... What a perfect way for the town to come together, especially around Christmas time, isn't it, to, to support this? And why is it so important, do you think, to to the town to have this going on every year? I think it's vital that, that, that the town has lights and and Christmas trees purely for the for the uh, for the children. Um, you know, it, it, I can't imagine it not not being there, the tree and the, the tree and the lights on Station Road. Um, it's just part of Christmas. And before we went um, live on the podcast, you told me a little bit of a story of how, I guess, you took the responsibility on. Can you tell me a bit about, about that and, I guess, where it all started? Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's nine years ago. We actually, it's about two or three weeks before Christmas and I got wind of the fact that uh, um, there were, weren't going to be any Christmas trees or, or any Christmas decorations up in town. So it was literally... Uh, a few weeks before so it was a quick snap decision and right come on let's do it and it and it it took a lot of effort to get it off the ground and um and actually uh, up and running but uh yeah we did it and uh, here we are nine years later 
Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Fair play to you all. And, and I mean, even decorating the house is hard work, so let alone <laughs> a, whole, a whole town. Yeah. But in terms of getting the process started each year, obviously it is fast approaching to Christmas now. It's nearly here. But how early on in the year do you start preparing for this? Oh, it's a couple of months, really. Um, September, I think, sort of sit, you know, ordering lights and um, ordering the tree. Uh, sorting out insurance, getting various quotes for different part of parts of the work, and starting to uh, knock on people's doors asking for hard cash, basically. And we're very lucky. Um, without naming names, there are there's some local businesses that are that are very supportive year on year. And um, without them, quite simply, it wouldn't it wouldn't happen. Yeah, thank you, of course, to everyone that gets involved in arranging this and to the club. Mm-hmm. As we mentioned, you're involved in so many different initiatives in the town. Are there any plans for anything coming up? Any any plans for the future? Uh, not, um, not, at, not at this very moment. But we will continue to 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 help in the community. It's what we're about. It's part of our. Uh, it's part of what we do, as as a club in in Port Hover. Listen, thank you, Andrew. Thank you very much for joining me on the podcast. I hope you have a lovely Christmas. And Dilchen Vaudriani Chi Amoilio, thank you all for watching and Adolik Slawin Ichi Gid.